My name is Jacqueline and I'm the nutrition coordinator here at the Bariatric Center at Mountainside Medical Center. We're going to talk about goals that should be achieved prior to surgery and what we will have you start working on once you begin our program. One week after surgery, you will have an appointment with the dietitian. At that point, we will discuss how you're doing with stage one and if you're ready to go on to the next stage. Stage two is your full liquid diet. You'll be on stage two for one week. Per meal, you can have one to two ounces of foods such as low-fat yogurt, part skim ricotta cheese, low-fat cottage cheese, sugar-free pudding, unsweetened applesauce, and pureed soups like butternut squash or tomato soup. Please know that on this stage, you are not able to have any bread, rice, pasta, beef, or pork, so no soups that contain any of those foods. Also, you won't be able to have them for two months, so please keep that in mind as you're going through the stages of the diet that those foods you won't be able to consume until two months post-op. Aside from your three meals, you will also continue with your three protein shakes to make sure you're getting in your 60 to 80 grams of whey protein isolate. And in between that, you will continue sipping on your clear liquids to stay hydrated. And at this point, as long as the dietitian tells you that it is okay, you can begin your bariatric vitamins. Please refer to your nutrition book for a detailed list and a sample meal plan for stage two. You should start working on those goals once you begin the program to help lead for a better transition after the procedure.